Hello guys, karibu sana katika show ya siku ya leo. Uh, wale ambao wana to join mara ya kwanza, mimi naitwa Tony Kihara na una join Tony Kihara show hapa ambapo tunakuletea show mufti, mambo mufti, mambo ambayo ni ya kukuelimisha, kukujuza na kukufahamisha vile mambo yalivyo hapa ugaimbuni ama hapa diaspora ama hapa upande wa Marekani. Hapa tulisema tutakuletea stories za watu tofauti tofauti na mambo tofauti tofauti ambayo yanafanyika huku na stories za watu ambao wameweza kufanya mambo mengi katika maisha yao na wameweza kuguza na kuaffect watu wengine katika maisha yao. Watu wengi wamekuwa wakiniuliza uliwezaje kuenda America na ku assimilate na ku integrate na watu huko na kufanya ku, na kufanya hiyo transition. So nilikuwa nataka siku ya leo niweze kuwaeleza jinsi na namna nilivyofanya transition na ile mambo ilinipata in the process ndio mtu mwingine inaweza kukufaidi kama wewe ni wale watu wameshinda green card na wenye wame apply na watashinda green card na wenye wako in the process ndio kikuja usikuwe stranded ama usikuwe na ile kacha shuk ni vizuri niweze kukufahamisha vile mambo ilivyo ndio uweze kuelewa hata uh, unapojipanga kukuja mambo iko vipi mwaka ni 2017 uh, nimetulia pale Kenya mambo ndio hiyo uchaguzi imekuja kampeni imekuwa ya kushika moto uchaguzi ni wa kufa kupona waswahili husema ni wa kukata na shoka mimi nilikuwa kwa ndembe by the way wale wananijua wanajua mimi nilikuwa kwa ndembe uchaguzi ilikuwa moto ilikuwa imeshika ah lakini mimi bahati haikusimama kura zikakosa kutosha kama kawaida unajua wa Kenya wanakuchocha wanakuambia muheshimiwa ni wewe muheshimiwa muheshimiwa ni wewe lakini ikifika kwa ndembe hapo ndipo wana draw the line wanakuambia tulikupenda lakini wambukati akakupenda zaidi ama akapenda mwingine zaidi sasa hapo ndipo wa Kenya unajua kuna zile tambia zetu za wa Kenya eh wanakuambia ni wewe ni wewe ni wewe ukifika pale hey, hey. unapata mwanasi wako kwa hiyo mambo ikakuwa hivyo na biashara zikakuwa zimerudi chini sana nini na mambo mengi ikatokea in the process uh, ambayo sitashinda nikitanja kwa sitashinda nikienda kwa udani sasa wakati huo mimi nilikuwa nafanya biashara zangu bado nilikuwa na biashara kampuni nilikuwa nayo ilikuwa inafanya vizuri ingawa biashara zilikuwa zimeharibika na tena pia nilikuwa part time lecturer pahali uh, before that nilikuwa lecturer mahali ambapo nilikuwa nafundisha in a certain college uh, hapo Nairobi kwa hivyo 2017 nikikaribia kuisha nikafunga vilago nikakuja upande wa America uh, kufika hapa mambo nayo unajua <coughs> hapo ukikuja uh, kuna mambo kadhaa unafaa uelewe ndio maana nimeweza kufanya hii show ndio mtu mwingine anapojipanga kuja America ajue kinacho mgonja huko mbele na ajue kwamba mambo si rahisi vile watu wanafikiria na tena inalingana pia na vile unavyochukua maneno na vile unavyojichukua wewe mwenyewe. Sasa vile mimi nilifika Amerika, uh, unajua pale mimi nilikuwa na tumaisha twangu, nilikuwa nini, nilikuwa nimejipanga kiasi. Alafu uh, kufika hapa, nilikuwa nafikiria sasa nikifika hapa nitakuja, nitafute kazi hata ya kufundisha kwa college, eh nianze kukuwa lecturer hapa kama vile nilikuwa pale Kenya ama niendelee na biashara zangu. Kufika hapa nikapata this is totally different system. So America biashara ndio ufanya biashara kuna so many requirements unafaa kufanya na biashara hapa huwezi fanya biashara zozote there are so many businesses that you are not eligible to do na ndio uweze kufanya hizo biashara kuna kuna requirement unafaa kuwa nazo unafaa kuwa na so many requirements so na biashara they are capital intensive si kama Kenya tunaweza unaweza enda mahali ukodishe ka kiosk uanze kuuza vitu zako hapo hapana hapa things are very sensitive. So mimi nikapatwa na hiyo kacha shuk. Number two, nika, nika, nika gudua ya kwamba huku uwezi toka Kenya kama ulikuwa unafundisha, ukuja huku direct America, alafu tena ukuja umeingia kwa class wamekupea kazi ya kufundisha. No. Hapa system ya hapa the system of education is different from the system of education in Kenya. So lazima kuna zile documents zako za Kenya za, za makaratasi zako za Kenya za, za academics zikuje hapa wazi waziweze kuziapprove na wakompe na system yao hapa waone wewe unafaa kuingia katika level fulani alafu from there there some so many, there are so many things that needs to be done for you to be incorporated in the teaching system here so mimi nikafika hapa 
Nona sasa nilikuwa na fikiria mambo itakuwa raisi. Lakini sasa ikakuwa uh, vile nilikuwa na fikiria si hivyo mambo iko. Mimi nikafika hapa. Yule jamaa beste yangu sana ambaye alikuja akani akani host. <coughs> Anaitwa Mr. Heavyman Mr. J. Mr. J akani shikiria, akaniambia sasa hapa ile umekuja wewe sahau kuanza na vitu zenye ulikuwa unafanya Kenya. Hapa mambo tunapanda, tunaenda pole pole. Tunaenda musimu. So wewe enda na mutaratara, piga hii rai, piga hii line. So akaniambia sasa nitakupeleka mahali kuna rafiki yangu ako na hoteli. Si hoteli, ni kama ka restaurant hivi, ako na restaurant mahali. Sasa wewe mkienda ukienda hapo nitakupeleka. Mkae na yeye hapo juu mimi saa hii ile 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 kazi nafanya uh, ni ngumu sana kukuingiza kwa hiyo kazi juu kuna technicalities na nini na nini na nini so wewe vile nitafanya nitakupeleka pale nikikupeleka pale mkae na huyo jamaa umsaidie kufanya kazi hapo nini 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 ndio ukiendelea kujuana na watu na ukijuana na watu hapo ndipo utapata utapata connection na nikamwambia ni sawa tu haina noma tukaenda hapo kwenda pale tukapata huyo jamaa jamaa mfiti sana jamaa mfiti sana jamaa kona roho ya kusaidia watu jamaa ko amejipanga sasa kaniambia wewe kijana mambo ya Kenya usahau hapa system ni tofau ni tofauti wewe fanya hivi huyo jamaa ndiye anatuchomeanga nyama hapa nyama yake inakuanga top notch ni ile tunasema imeenda group of schools eh imeenda Ivy League uh, schools akichoma nyama watu kutoka hata Boston wengine wanatoka mpaka New York kuja kukula nyama hapo sasa mimi nikaingia hapo Ah, Mr. M akaniambia boss, fanya hivi, hapo we na juwe si mtu wakulalia masikio. Chika inyama, tuende, tuende ni kuonyeshe. Tukaenda hapo, kaniambia mtu wanachoma nyama hivi, mtu wanafanya hivi, kaniambia wewe hii kazi utafanya hapa. Na jioni watu wakikuja hapa, wanakujanga kukula nyama hapa, na kukunywa, wewe ongea na watu, pika kanetu wakapa kule, hapa ni utajuana na watu wawili watatu wakuambia fanya hivi, fanya hivi, fanya vile, wewe usikalia, usilalia masikio. Ah Mr M jamaa mtu sana. Kanifikisha kaniambia sasa wewe fanya hivyo. So mimi nikaanza kuenda hapo kila siku tunaenda tunachoma nyama tuna akaniambia sasa wewe akaniweka mpaka upande wa kitchen akaniambia wewe utakuwa unakatakatia watu nyama unawauzia chukua wakikupatia tu tips hapo watu walikuwa wanarusha tu tips mimi tu tips naweka kwa mfuko. Na hapo hapo mbandu kuna madhi. Ah madhi mtu sana madhi mfiti anapitia wa Kenya chakula tamu sana hapo anawapitia ugali anawapitia wali eh pilau anawapitia machapo anawapitia samosa kwanza samosa zake hapo itakuja kuleta show moja hapa ya hizo samosa uone samosa tamu sana madhi naye akaniambia ah kijana yangu usiwe na wasiwasi umefika mahali ambapo ni pazuri madhi akaniambia pia wewe nitakufundisha kupika samosa ah shika hii kazi nafanya ngo hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi eh Madhe na si mchache. Kanifundisha kupika samosa. Tukapika samosa. Tukapika masamosa hapo. Wacha watu wakule. Wacha watu wapende hizo samosa. Wacha watu wakule nyama choma. Mimi hapo bado kila jioni nilikuwa naenda pale. Watu wakikuja jioni tunaongea na wazee hapo. E, watu wazee wametoka wapi? Wewe umetoka wapi? Nini nini nini? Ni. Napatana na wazee wenye walikuja huku hata 20 years wananiambia wewe kijana hapa 20 years experience niko nayo acha nikuambie fanya hivi na hivi na hivi usifitie hapa na hapa na hapa mimi hapo ilikuwa ni kama ni kama ile inaitango wa boot camp eh unajua boot camp mimi ilikuwa boot camp juu nilisoma mambo mengi within a very short time nilikaa hapo for one month na within hapo one month ni reestablish good contacts na nikajuana na watu na nikaweza kujua jinsi ya kukaa na watu hapa na nikaweza kupata mambo mengi sana sasa kuna Madhe fulani alikuja hapo akasema eh hey, kijana yangu wewe umefika ndiye akaniambia usiwe na wasiwasi usiwe na wasiwasi kuna kijana ambaye najua ako na connection uh, ako na connection mahali wacha nimpigie simu akuje muongee akachangamka akapigia jamaa eh hey, baada ya siku kidogo huyo jamaa naye akafika hapo yeye ni dere yeye ni pilot ana deal na hizi maroli kubwa kubwa hizi eh hizi masema i truck E hey, huyu jamaa naye akakuja akaniambia ah kijana usiwe na wasiwasi. Eh? Naitwa Mr. K. Mr. K unajijua ulikuwa mtu yani mtu wa maana sana. Ulinisaidia. Mr. K na yeye akaniambia kuna mzai fulani 
ambaye akona akona gas station hapa sasa huyu mzai nitakushikanisha na yeye anajua anatafuta mtu uh, akapigia mzai simu mzai akasema nipe namba ya huyo kijana tutaongea na yeye pale nilichapa mwezi mzima mwezi kilekea kuisha sasa ndio uh, huyo mzai tukaendelea kuongea na yeye akaniambia kuja kwa kazi yangu nitakufundisha kazi nione kama unaweza kama unaweza uh, we unifanyie mawili matatu as you keep your house in order uh, tukaongea tukapiga deal akasema akakubaliana akasema mimi nitakupatia kakazi hapa hivi uweze kujishikilia uweze kufanya hivi na hivi sasa ndipo nilianza mimi nikaanza kazi kwa gas station gas station ni kama petrol station za Kenya gas station inakuwa unauzia watu mafuta alafu kuna vitu zingine ziko hapo ndani unawauzia uh, majuice masonda nini ziko hapo so you are like a, a shopkeeper attendant yo akashia wanaitango akashia sasa mimi nilikuwa kashia hapo juu huku watu hawawekewi hawa mafuta kwa pump hapa mtu anakuja na kulipa alafu anaenda nje kujifanyia pumping so inakuwa si kazi ngumu ni kazi rahisi sasa mimi vile nilifika unajua sasa niko niko ile unajua ile transition nimetoka huko Kenya nilikuwa na mambo yangu na nilikuwa na tumaisha twangu hapa kufika eh bwana unakuwa ulikuwa lecture hapa unakuja unakuwa shopkeeper eh lakini pesa si mbaya by the way si tu pesa tu mbaya ukikonvert na pesa za Kenya so nikasema America nimegundua kweli bora nini bora bora dirhamu eh bora bora mkwanja eh bora shekeli sasa ndio hiyo sasa mimi nikaanza kazi nikachapa chapa nikachapa chapa nikijipanga pole 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 alafu nikachange tu kazi hapa kule nini 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 eventually nikakuja kujiestablish na That's where I'm today. So ni, kwa, kwa, nilikuwa nasema napatiana history ni kwa sababu watu wengi wakikuja Amerika wanafikiria kwamba juu wewe ulikuwa daktari na sasa ukikuja Amerika utakuja direct uende upewe uhang stethoscope kwa, kwa shingo alafu the following week uanze kudunga watu masindano huko hapana huko kukuange hivyo huku lazima ufuate mutaratara eh ati ulikuwa soja Kenya sasa ukikuja huku utaenda tu direct uanze kuitisha gari huku uzunguke huku na over over hizi na itwanga nini eh ati uanze ku, 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 ku nini hapana system totally different hmm? ati kama Kenya ulikuwa mwalimu unakuja huku direct next week wewe huyo huko mwalimu shule unaanza kufundisha hapana kuna ile system kuna ile ndio uingie kwa system kuna mambo kadhaa na in that window period usilalie masikio hiyo window period anza kufanya kazi yenye inapatikana watu wanafanya kazi nyingi huku na hizo kazi bora zinalipanga vizuri sana hizo kazi zinalipa vizuri sana unapata kuna watu wana attend to the elderly wanaangalia watu ambao wako na mashida tofauti tofauti wanafanya hizo kazi za home care na bado wana survive so we ukikuja America ukiwa na madegree zako na nini na nini na umekuja America to look for greener pastures before you enter into this system unless umetoka Kenya direct na umekuja na work permit ambayo unakuja direct kuingia kwa kazi fulani hapa mtu anashika kazi yenye umeipata ukishika hiyo kazi uanze kuji, kujipanga pole pole so kwa hivyo wale watu wameshinda green card kwa wale watu ambao wameapply green card as you prepare jua ya kwamba America ndio ingia kwa system kuna hiyo kawido period so ukue psychologically prepared ukifika hapa kama umehostiwa na mtu umekuja na green card ukishapata hiyo ukikuja hapa na hiyo green card yako kitabo sasa ukue ukue umeingia kwa system vizuri kuna hizi kazi uta, utapata huku utaenda kwa Amazon ufanye kazi hiyo ya warehouse ufanye kazi zingine hizo kazi usizidharau ni kazi zitakusaidia kuanza from somewhere kuna wengine wanaanza na hair store unakuja unaanza kwa hair store unafanya kazi kwa hair store unauzia watu nywele hapo una establish contact unajuana na watu unaona wa Kenya wamekuja hapo wa Afrika unajuana na watu kutoka nchi zingine so you establish your contact there kuna wengine wanakuja wanajia kwa gas station unaanza kuuza hapo unaanza from somewhere you grow from there sasa bora tu usilalie masikio wenye wanakuja wakiwa wamemaliza form 4 ukikuja tu hapa ndani ukishapata kazi tafuta jia ya kuingia shule ndio u grow your career unaweza kuwa unaweza anza na hii CNA uanze ku grow from you know CNA ni mambo ya nursing ni, ni, ni huko chini kabisa ni zile levels za chini as you grow to towards nursing courses unaanza huko una grow unaenda unaenda hivyo hivyo bora tu usilalie masikio you make sure when you get to america usilalie masikio don't sleep on the job kitu ya kwanza lazima ukue very aggressive na you respect the growth respecting the growth is very important 
kuna ile transition so hiyo transition respect it and that growth respect it because it's very important itakusaidia hata kupunguza stress watu wengine wanakuja wanaanza kupatwa na stress you Kenya ulikuwa umezoea maisha mazuri ulikuwa umezoea uh, ulikuwa umezoea watu una, unaambia watu wafanye hivi wanafanya ulikuwa na mpaka watu wa kuajiri umeandika nani sasa ulikuwa unawasomea vile unataka ukikuja hapa to employ a nanny is very very expensive so unapata watu wengi watoto wao kuna vile wana wanawaacha na shift wanawaangalia na shift ama kama ni mzee na bibi wana change na shift na nini na nini mtu wewe unachukua shift za usiku za kazi wewe mzee unachukua shift za mchana dio mmoja akuwe na baki na watoto juu hapa nani is to employ it will be very expensive when wa, kwanza wakati umetoka Kenya direct so kuna hiyo transition ni vizuri iweze ku respect that growth that growth is very important i see many people being stressed tunaona watu wengi wameshikwa na pressure juu wamekuja na high expectation wa hawajui ya kwamba ukiingia hapa lazima u respect that growth that is very important yeah so before you get to the position ya watu wenye unapata hapa uone mtu ati yako na nyumba kubwa anaishi maisha mazuri na wewe ufikirie ati mtu alikuja direct amepewa nyumba amepewa kazi hapana kuna ile process alipitia akafika mpaka mahali alipo na um, fikiria hayo mawaidha imesaidia mtu mmoja wawili uh, so that in your journey as you plan to come over here you be prepared psychologically prepared that there is that transition ambayo uta utapitia na it will be to your own benefit because itakusaidia mpaka kukuwa hardened kukuwa resilient and also it will give you uh, the sense of you know appreciation unaji appreciate unasema eh hey, kweli nimetoka mbali and then yeah Mungu atakufikisha mahali unataka as long as ulali masikio as long as hapa wewe si mtu lazy you can do you can get to the level that you want hapa kuna wa Kenya kuna wa Tanzania kuna waganda kuna watu kutoka Central Africa ambao wako na makampuni makubwa wanaendesha big companies eh? they are running very big companies because walikuja waka respect that growth but they didn't stop there be aggressive until you reach to where you want yeah and this is a lot of opportunities kwa hivyo nitafikisha hapo na yeah i hope kuna mtu amesaidika thank you so much and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed uh, tutaendelea kuleta stories zingine na story mufti story ambazo zitaweza kuwa motivate yeah thank you so much subscribe to this youtube channel uh, mungu awabariki sana leave a comment there kama wewe ni mkaaji wa america na mambo ambayo nime nimezungumza umerelate nayo ebu comment hapo chini leave a comment there ndio watu wengine ambao wanapanga kukuja wajue ya kwamba kuna hiyo ka, 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 ka transition yeah and don't be discouraged live here is good is not bad yeah thank you so much